Hello, Gibby Gibster, and today we have the new Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift ETBs. Now, I normally get the Pokemon Center ones, but I have moved house, so I've been doing other things and I didn't order it, so I had to get the regular ones. So, no Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs this time, but hopefully it will be next time. And also, I am just on a little table. Because my new table has only turned up about an hour ago and I have not set it up. So hopefully that will be set up for the next video and it will all be set in stone and we can post more regularly. But that is why I have not been posting videos as frequently as I have been lately. But yeah, we have the new Scarlet Violet Paradox Rift ETBs and there are two different types of ETPs for this set. There is the Iron Valiant one, which is based around the future Pokemon, and there is the Roaring Moo one, which is based around the ancient Pokemon. Now, I'm more of a ancient Pokemon fan. I was a dinosaur kid, so I like ancient animals. I wasn't a car kid, which I think if you're a car person, you probably like the future Pokemon more. And if you was a dinosaur kid, you'd like the ancient Pokemon box a bit more. But we shall get into these. Which one shall we start with? We'll look at the Iron Valiant one first. We'll look at the contents. And then we'll have a quick look at the Roaring Moon one. Because they do have different promos in each. So we'll open both of them up. See what it is. Put the packs aside. And we'll have a little ETB pack battle. Now this is a huge set. This is... On par with Powder Evolved sort of size. So there are like 30 illustration rare cards, 12 special illustration rares. I think there's 9 or 12 of the gold cards and stuff. And there are some nice cards in the set. There's nothing huge in the set. As I said, it's based around the Paradox Pokemon. So you do have special illustration rares of Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon. And this table does have a wobble, so I'm sorry about that. The next table won't. I will have that sorted out, but this was kind of thrown together. Just for a quick thing. And before we get into that, we'll have a quick look at the set. As I did say, this set is huge. So here's all the regular cards. Nothing too exciting, and then we get into the illustration rares, and there are some amazing ones. That Toad Squirrel, very War of the Worlds like the Snow Run. I like the Snow Run. It's actually one of my chase cards. It's so cute in the snow. And then I think we've missed a page. Yes, we have another two pages of illustration rares. Man Tikes back first card in forever. This Wimpod is one of my other chase cards along with the Galisopod, Galisopod. It looks nice and I like the story it tells. Plus I'm on mining. I want both of them. That's a good another two for my chase. That Blitzel, I love that Blitzel. Looks amazing. Got a cute little gel tick. As Pathfras, a very nice art. We got Groudon, illustration rare. So if you like Groudon, it's a good set. Gargnackle, Sliverwing. Garboder, Molpeco is another chase card for me, so that's five already. Steelix, another chase card, I love that artwork, it looks amazing. Ferrothorn, Abbey Bombs, that Loudrid's another one. Not really an artwork I normally like, but that is another chase card, so that's seven, I've already said. And here's number eight, it's probably one of my favourites, the Swablu. A little bit confused, figured it's a wig girl. <laughs> And it is a very cute artwork. I love it. Well, there's some more. And then we get into the full arts. Loads of full arts. This is a massive set. I think it's mashed from three sets. Illustration rare. Uh, full art. Chase card would be that Roaring Moon. And the Iron Valiant. Very nice. We got some trainers. The Altaria. I want the Altaria as well. I do like Altaria as a Pokemon. Got Norman. Very weird. Isn't it? Parasol Relady is probably the Waifu Chase card, along with Rika. 
And then we get onto the special illustration rares. We've got Guard Chomp Terror, the Goliath Support, that's my other chase card with the Wind Pod. I'm not actually that into special illustration rares. Obviously, I do want that Iron Valiant one and the Roaring Moon one because that's basically it. This Altaria is probably along with the Goliath Support are my only special illustration rare chase cards. So the Altaria, the Wind, the Goliath Support, the Iron Valiant. And the Royal Moon. Not too fussed about the Gold Dengo, but a lot of people have been liking that. That Parasol Lady is the big waifu chase card. That special illustration rare along with Rika. And then we've got Terra Gold Garchomp, Iron Valiant Gold, and Royal Moon Gold. And that is about it. It is a massive set again. It's, it's on Paldera Evolved sort of level, but. There we go, that was a quick look at the booklet. And I won't make you look at it again when we open up the next box, but then we get the usual ETB stuff. We get the sleeves, so we get Iron Valiant sleeves. Code card for the whole product, one of you can have that. Enjoy. And if you do use a code card and you get something cool, let me have a look. I'd be interested to know your block of energy. Give me in pretty much at that the card. We'll leave that to the end. Got the dividers. Forward image there. Close up there. And then dice. And the condition markers. And then we get eight, nine. Is it nine? It's nine now, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is nine now because we get an extra pack. And the promo card we get is Chiching, the Iron Bundle Illustration Rare. It's actually quite a nice illustration rare. I do love penguins, as you probably guess if you watch my channel. Well, I like penguin Pokemon. Iron Bundle, Mechanical Penguin. It's pretty cool. Yeah, very, very nice card. So I'll put that one there. And that will be the Iron Valiant one. And we'll get into the Roaring Moon one. I think this design is my favourite. I think the colour palette's a bit better. And it is Roaring Moon. I think it might be a bit more popular than Iron Valiant. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty close between Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon. But I prefer Roaring Moon. It is an ancient Salamance. <laughs> it is a ridiculously cool looking Pokemon. And it's an ancient Pokemon, so it automatically wins. But as take that seal off and it looks amazing. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> that seal takes away so much of the colour and vibrancies. And then you get the player's guide as well. It's it's just a different cover. It's the same. It's the same as the Home Valley one. It's just a different image on the front. So we get into the Roaring Moon one. Show you what's in here. Yeah. The sleeves. Very nice. I have a massive collection of sleeves now. Code card for that whole product. So you can add that one as well. And then we get that's the promo. Block of energy. Boring. It's in everything now. The dividers, very nice. I do like Roar and Moon more than Iron Valiant. I'm sorry, <laughs> might be unpopular, but that is me. And the dice, oh, the dice are different as well. I'll quickly show you. So you get a green and pink one for the Iron Valiant. It's obviously, but the number ones are actually the same. And then you get a red and blue one for the Roar and Moon. And then our nine packs of Paradox. Rift. And this is the promo. It's Screamtail, and it is a great artwork. I do love this one. This is actually my favourite out of the two promos. So, Rory Moon wins again for the box design. And the promo it is a Screamtail. Such a good promo. Love that. So, put that there. And we shall get into the packs. And we're going to alternate. We'll take one from Iron Valley and then one from Raw Rain Moon. Oh, have you been looking forward to this set? 
I have seen the set. I saw the set of this coming out as I do. I always have a little look to see what's in it, and it looked pretty cool. And then once I saw the complete set list, I was a bit like, yeah, it's pretty cool, but there's a lot of meh Pokemon. But I still prefer Paldea Evolved, I think. But we'll see if the pull rates are a bit better. Guess the energy, fire energy. Oh, our first energy out of Paradox Rift, and we guess it. Loving that fire energy. Pampo, Blitzel, Ensuite, Phoebus, Chantel, Garbodor, Technical Machine Evolution, Reverse Hollow Panzer, Reverse Hollow Natu, and a Hollow Galissapod. I want your special illustration rare. <laughs> uh, there, I think there are quite a few cards that are playable now out of this set. I think this set has introduced a lot of playable cards, so you might see more of these cards, better, more different decks and stuff like that. If you actually play the TCG, I don't, but I will be soon because I do have the my first battle pack, uh, boxes which are pretty cool and I might do a video on them soon and I'm gonna start trying to learn to play the game guess the energy water energy ah. leaf energy Wishma, Flamigo, Porygon, Seedra, Norman, Orthworm, Toad, Screw, Reverse Holo Flamigo, Reverse Holo Steelix and oh a Holo Latioso one pack from each set and no hit yet so we can pack out the Iron Valley one. Yeah, as I was saying, there's quite a few cards people think are going to be very playable. They're more from the future ones. So I think the Iron Hands people are going to be liking where you get, if you KO with that card, you get two prized cards instead of one for one of its moves. And the Iron Valiant has a good ability apparently. So uh, we'll see what happened. Guess the energy, steel energy. Water energy. Gliger, Blitberg, Foycoco, Hone Edge, Simsage, Norman, Orthworm, Reverse Holo Gorgoist, Reverse Holo Foycoco. Lovely artwork. That is very cool. And, oh, there we go. Roaring Moon EX. <laughs> so we get the... Uh, package Pokemon for the Rory Moon box out of the Iron Valiant packs. Very, very funny, but that is our first hit, and I do love Rory Moon. It looks absolutely amazing. It's probably one of my most favorite designed Pokemon from this generation. Now we get into our second pack from the Rory Moon ETB. I might actually now. Nah, I, I won't forget. I'll, I'll try pretty hard not to forget which pack is come out on which box. Should be quite easy. There's a code card. One from the back. Guess the energy. Water energy. Fire energy. Nimble. Yan mask. Spinder. Tink tink. Orbital. Cloth. Orphworm. Reverse hollow Volcanion. Reverse hollow Explode. And a hollow Thievul. So no hit out of that pack. And there's not a lot of room on this little bench. So the bulk may start going into the actual shot. But here we go. This is our third pack from the Iron Valiant box. Good card. One from the back. Guess your G Leaf energy. Ooh, love a guess your G. Lovely. Leaf Energy, A Palm, Calvantula, Man Tyke, Pansage, Dorant, Sliverwing Ancient Card. So you get ancient cards and you have different designs and the future ones can have a different design here. Pretty cool. Sliverwing, Theraphorn, Reverse Hollow Chiyu, Reverse Hollow Pumpkaboo, and a Hollow Eye Veltel. So no hit. Four. So we shall get it into the next pack. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, it is the Roaring Moon one. See, I'm so bad at counting and keeping track. It's unbelievable. But 
we're on to our third pack from the Roaring Moon box. Code card. And we have started seeing, I'll talk about that in a second. Let's get the energy, metal energy. Leaf energy, Magby, Vanillite, Oricorio, Swablu, Screamtail Ancient card, Technical Machine, Devolution, Exploud, Reverse Hollow Bomb Sweet, Reverse Hollow Flittle, ooh, and there we go. Get a big hit, I got Lysopod, EX Full Art. Is it Galisopod or Glycopod? I don't know how you're going to tell me in the comments, but as I said in a previous video, Loads of people have different pronunciations for the same Pokemon. And I don't know which one's right. <laughs> there we go. Galissapod EX Full Art card. Very nice Full Art card. Do love that. I want that special illustration rare, please. Fourth pack from the Iron Valiant one. I want to pack number four of each. Code card. Guess your energy, fighting energy, metal energy, Dwebble, Horsey, Joltek, Loudred, Toad Screw, Screen Tail Agent Card, Technical Machine, Devolution, Reverse Hollow Sub Striker, Reverse Hollow Oricorio, and a Porygon Z Hollow. So, no hit in that pack. Fourth pack from the Roaring Moon one, and as I was saying, we have seen our a little glimpse of our January set coming out. Well, we've seen the Japanese version of it. It is Shiny Treasures. So obviously it's Shiny Pokemon again, like uh, Shining Fates, those sort of things. So we're getting loads of Shiny Pokemon and I can't wait to see if they actually do illustration and special illustration rares for Shiny Pokemon. That would be really cool if they do, but I'm not sure if they will. They might do a couple, but not a lot. I think it'll be as it was in Shining Fates. It'll be more shiny full art cards and baby cards. But it's going to be pretty cool. Well, it depends on what Pokemon they pick. Guess the energy. Leaf energy. Metal energy. Tangy Mouse. Dwebble. Wishmer. Dewblade. Absol, that is a sick artwork. It's not really an artwork I normally like, but that is so cool. Soon you see it. Crobat, Reverse Hollow Gimme Go, Reverse Hollow Tandy Mouse, and a Hollow Aspathra. So on to the next pack, pack number five from the Iron Valley one. The important thing is I'm remembering which hits come out of which pile, so yeah <laughs> code card one from the back guess the energy fire energy <sighs> leaf energy mine um that uh, mine them on the plus all illustration reds are amazing snow run also another amazing illustration rare card knuckle stack plus all there's the plus all cursed duster orbital cloth oh reverse hollow technical machine evolution Ooh. And we get a gold card, a gold beach court. So it's not one of the Pokemon, it is the beach court, but it is a lovely, lovely card. Oswald Kato, little Flamigo in the front. Very, very nice hit. And behind it, we have Hollow Melotic. I wonder when they're going to give Melotic some love. I think it was a very artwork sort of Pokemon. It would do very nice in a lot of artwork. Styles, and I wish I'd given one, but there we go. We get a gold beach court. So, Iron Valiant box has taken the lead, but here we go into the Roaring Moon one with a Roaring Moon pack. Is it gonna bring something amazing? I want, this, I want some of these illustrations, a lot of these illustration rares from this set, but as I said, it's a massive set. So it's going to be quite hard to pack pull them. It might be, it will be a lot cheaper to just buy them. But we know how I work. I will open as much as I can and try and get them, and then I'll just buy them eventually. Guess the energy, <laughs> fighting energy, psychic energy, Pansit, Nicket, Gligar, Blitberg, Mela, Sliverwing, Ancient Guard, Gorgeist, 
Reverse Hollow Fluttle, Reverse Hollow Galvantula, and a Hollow Low Kicks. So no hitting that pack, and the bulk's building up. But here we go, next pack out of the Iron Valiant. I've already lost count of what they are on, but it's alright, I still know which one's which. <laughs> Code card, one for the back, Guess Energy, Dark Energy. Oh, Lightning Energy, Remoraid, Pumpkaboo, Zubat, Natu, Minior, Simipaw, Zeb Striker, Reverse Hollow Joltik, Reverse Hollow Wishma, and Hollow Ting Lu. Next pack out the Vora Moon box. So we do have 18 packs, so a half boost box, technically. That would be ECB. Be quite cool to see what the pull rates are. Obviously, this is such a small sample scale, but it'll give me a sort of an idea. Guess energy, water energy. Now it's dark energy. Dark energy. Sir Skit, Magby, Fumigo, Porygon, Rock, Stethene, Simipore, Reverse Hollow Wiglet, another Reverse Hollow Wiglet, and a Hollow Wyvel. Oh, there we go. Both artworks in Reverse Hollow of Wiglet. <laughs> very, very funny. Here we go, three packs left in each pile. I am Valiant is winning at the moment, I think. Code card, one from the back. Guess energy, light energy, metal energy. Gimme go, Wiglet, Jirachi, Nackley, Durant, Technical Machine, Turbo Energize, Wug Trio, Rose Hollow Dinkstuff, Rose Hollow Crowder. Oh, and a terrestrial Serena EX. Very nice. So, grass Pokemon terrestrializing into a water Pokemon. Pretty cool. Very, very nice. Well, I think it's ice, actually. Yeah, metal weakness, so it'll be an ice type. But ice type, obviously, comes under water energy. Like, ground types come under fighting energy. So, for... Come on, Roy Moo. You're losing at the moment. You need to start picking it up. And I want to get something, an illustration or a special illustration rare. We did get a cold card, but gold cards, they're kind of, kind of outdone by the illustration, special illustration rare cards now. Guess energy, fire energy, water energy, Fue Coco, Hone Edge, Dwevel, Horsey, Tatsiriri, Vanillax, the Defiance Vest, Reverse Hollow Gobat, Reverse Hollow Nicket, and an Iron Moth Hollow Future card. Do we count that as a hit? It is a new sort of card. I'm going to put it in a sleeve and we'll put it there. But it's still technically a hollow card. But it's cool and it's a new design of a hollow. So it's going there now. Because it is new. So it kind of counts, but it doesn't count. We'll count it as a half hit. There we go, half oh, hit. Code card, one from the back, guess energy. Leaf energy. Whee! Leaf energy, lovely. Leaf energy, paranoid. Mind fruit, ferro seed, gibble, crocodile, ambi palm, snorlax doll, reverse hollow tandy mouse, reverse hollow mining. Oh, and a sandy shocks. EX Ancient Card. Seen a lot of Ancient Cards, I haven't seen many Future Cards. Just that Iron Moth at the moment. But there we go, there's another hit, a Sandy Shocks EX Ancient Card. Out of the Iron Valiant one, obviously. Because it's not my favourite, so it's doing better. <laughs> but we do have two packs for the Roar and Moon left, and only one for the Iron Valiant one left. Come on, give me an illustration of uh, one from the back. Guess energy, psychic energy. Oh, two in a row. Loving it. Psychic energy. Oricorio. Toad school. Toad. Toad. Toad school. Yeah. Charker depth. Vanillaite. Substriker. Luxurious cape. Ambi palm. Reverse hollow swallow. Reverse hollow magby. Also, first card in ages. And I've got my support. EX 
regular cards. We got the for that, and, and we got the regular card out of the same ETB. But it is another hit. One pack each left. Two packs left. Go on, illustration rare card. I haven't seen one yet. And after Powder Evolved, they kind of made them a bit harder. One from the back, Guess Energy, Light Energy, Water Energy, Parasol Lady, Porygon 2, Octillery, Go Back, Techno Radar, Stadene, Counter Catcher, Reverse Hollow Technical Machine, Turbo Energize, Reverse Hollow Steeny, Stene? Teeny. Steeny. I don't know. <laughs> and Oliver Canyon. Oh, that's another Pokemon I can't say very well, so add that to the list. <laughs> and our last pack from the Morning Roaring Moon ETB. Oh, come on, illustration rare. I will be getting a half booster box with this, I think. Code card. One from the back, guess in the G. Water energy. Ah, oh, fighting energy. Gel Kick, Loudred, Remoraid, Pump Kaboo, Veluza, Technical Machine Turbo Energize, Wog Trio, Reverse Hollow More Paco, Reverse Hollow Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. So that's an ancient trainer card. It's quite cool. And <laughs> a Serena EX. A terrestrial Serena EX card as well. So we've got a terrestrial Serena EX card out of both ETBs. So quickly go through the polls. So in the Iron Valley box, we got a Sandy Shocks EX, a Terrestrial Serena EX, the Gold Beach Court card, and the Roaring Moon EX card. And also, there's the promo again, that I am bundle. And out of the Roaring Moon ETB, we got a Terrestrial Serena EX, a Glycopod EX, a Half Point Iron Moth Hollow, but it's future, so it's, it's a new card. It's quite cool, so we get Half Point for that. A Glycopod EX Flot. And that is the Scream Tail promo. So we got two, e three EXs in the Iron Valiant box, we along with a gold beach court. And we got two EX cards out of the Roaring Moon box and a full art. And also our half point Iron Moth card. So the Iron Valiant box does win it, unfortunately for me, but there's the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.